What up with y'all today, man? We got another video, man. First of all, y'all turning me up, bruh. I'm almost at 200 subs, bro. I really appreciate y'all, man. And I know I keep saying this shit, but I really appreciate y'all. And I love y'all, man, for real. We going crazy all year. Y'all been turning me up, and I'm appreciative. You know what I'm saying? Even if this video does 10 views, like, I'm still appreciative for what y'all done for me, bro. So I really, really love y'all for that. But without further ado, man, we got another video, man. Take a pose. And this live stream I got it from is actually like a month old. But you know, every now and then I like to just you know look at little lives and pick shit out of that. But he basically talking about his first time experiencing real life grown up adult jail in Cook County and all that. And it, it's a lot going on. He talking about niggas been beating they meat to the white meat and all type of shit, man. Y'all watch to the end, man. Subscribe, like, and let's turn up, man. Y'all have a good day. To some other niggas career basically and just like man i'm here you know what i'm saying but when i first got there my first time in the county i was i ended up going to a deck where a lot of the guys was at. like it wasn't no ops on the deck it was my homies from my hood some homies from the tymb some of the guys from 71st one of the guys from thf I'm gonna just say the name. It was T it was Chinaman and Dookie from TYMB. It was Lil Lil Devon from 71st Bassville. It was Lil Law from Fo Fo THF that be rapping now. This one folks had the dreads. It was Lil Law. Um, it was Capo from Miles who was at Fuck Twelve. It was him. It was. It was a couple, I think it was another member or two on the deck. We was all jamming. We was all locked in, you know what I'm saying? So, when I come on the deck, I see folks them on the deck. You feel me? This 2016, I come in there, I see folks them on the, all the guys on there. So, I'm, I'm good, you feel me? We straight. I'm in there going to sell whole time. They got me in a cell with this Hispanic Mexican nigga folk who don't speak English. So folks them get that, all right, man, just switch your cell. Like, we not supposed to do this because they do count every night and they got to know who is who. But, like, they like, see, we ain't leaving the deck. You swap your cell with folks. Put another nigga over there with him. So we put another nigga over there with dude. And I got in with another one of the guys on Biddy. So I'm over there with folks. He, you know, he telling me he know who I am and all that. I get a lot of this when I'm in jail. So now I'm hollering at folks, you feel me? I'm chilling, you feel me? Trying to get acquainted to this county system and what's going on around me. Because I'm still new to all this. You know, I've been locked up before because I've been to the juvie a lot of times. You feel me? But now I'm an adult and I'm going to the county. This the big house. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm on there. We make folks and them making jail dips. They sending me burritos to my cell that night. Air time, they locked. See, Cap Fuck 12, he was like a he was a, like a porter. You, what you call him? A joint? You call him a porter. He a nigga like, because we in sales at this time. So Cap was a nigga like, he will be the... Like, when everybody get in their cell, he the nigga that's outside the cell still because he uh he a porter. So, he sweeping, mopping the flow, you know, and they let the porter, like, when everybody lock up and the phone's off, they'll let the porter get on there at 10 o'clock, 10.30 at night because he's still out. The COs, they know, like, the porters, like, they like, like, they like the COs pet a little bit. Like, they do everything the CO ask them, but it come with perks. So, like, I'm in a... You feel me? Hollering at, uh, watching Cap. He up in the, um, on the phone after he's sweeping mop. Everybody in they cell. He up in a decent. You know what I'm saying? So he sliding to my door at night. I got a couple of the other guys sliding to my door at night when I'm in the chuck. Niggas rapping outside the chuck. They, hey, Tate, hit that computer, folk. Hit this, folk. Hit that. You feel me? I'm up in there. I'm just, ah, you know what? <clears throat> I'm rapping. <laughs> I'm rapping, on photo. We are all over there rapping at the end of the day, fool. So it's like I'm, 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 I'm decent on photo. I'm on the deck with my guys. Everything, everything. You feel me? So now it get to a point where I'm, I'm trying to get acquainted to the other stuff. Now I'm around and I see everything, everything as far as the niggas I'm around. But like now it's about what's going on in front of me. Like 
how the county work, what they feed me, this and that, you feel me? At this point, I still ain't went to store or nothing. So I'm on a deck, you feel me? They serving food. My homies hitting me with noodles and cap packages to I get right, but I ain't got right. So now I'm like, I'm up and up, and I'm just getting these trays, and I'm just like, what? Like, I couldn't believe what they were serving, niggas. Folks, look, let me tell y'all what they were serving us, man. So for breakfast, you know, in the county, they serving breakfast at like 4 in the morning. They come on your deck with these little plastic little trays that's in a in a in a in a in a in in, in some in some type of plastic see through plastic and it be the most miscellaneous shit that don't go together in there and they expect you to eat it and then they waking you up out your sleep for because like in jail you're gonna sleep with one eye open if you smart so anytime you sleep you can hear keys wrangling or hear Anything, really, you feel me? Like, if you ain't sleep, you if you sleep, sleep in jail, you must want to live in there for real. Like, I swear, every nigga in jail, we be all knocked out, but we could hear a pin drop in our sleep on phone. them. Like, as soon as they, we, we be knocked out, as soon as they, Mr. Carbon is, uh, oh, yo, like, niggas hearing it. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, and now I'm just like, you feel me, folk? They serving us at four in the morning, waking niggas up, and it's like, they give you the package, and it's a, Piece of cheese, two pieces of bread. It's an apple sauce and some crackers or something like, or something like, like some stupid folk. Like, what is I'm supposed to do with that? Like, what I'm supposed to put the apple sauce on the bread? You feel me? And and, and then put a cheese on it and, and eat that. Like, what, that's what I'm supposed to do for breakfast, folk. Then y'all gave me cheese crackers on the side. Like, man, come on, bro. Like, come on, I don't want to. Man, then the cheese, y'all making it here at the county. Like, nah, bro. Like, come on. What am I What am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with some cheese that the mice is in here won't even eat? I'm telling my folks, we, we used to pull pranks with the meat and cheese they used to give us for, like, folks, leave it in the corner. You know the county is big. Got rats, mice, all that. Insects. And we just, like. Folk, you can leave the cheese over there for a whole month. Ain't nobody going to touch it. Not none of them insects or none of them. I mean, not insects, but them damn mice or none. They ain't going to eat it. They ain't going to touch it. That's how we knew it was fucked up. And y'all giving it to us. What is What am I supposed to make? An apple sauce sandwich? Like, who are the board of, of, of health and food for y'all that's telling y'all this is what we can eat? Like told y'all, yeah, y'all can serve them apple sauce and 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 uh bread and and, and they gonna be good. Wake them up out they sleep at four in the morning after they just told they fighting forty five years at court the night before the day before and tell them to eat this apple sauce sandwich. Come on, dog. Come on, folks. Like we already in the county going through enough, and you niggas want to make a nigga eat an apple pie sandwich? Come on, bro. So, now, how I'm looking at it is, I'm already disgusted. I'm not even going to lie. I'm already, like, fed up with it because I'm like, at this point, bro, I ain't making a stove. Y'all ain't giving me nothing to really eat in here. Like, and that's just breakfast. Lunch come around. You might have a cock in a sock. You might get lucky. It might be a chicken patty on there, but that was luck, lucky. You feel me? Lucky when that come around. But you might have a cock in the sock. You might be eating some slop beans and all that. Like, this lunch, this is the only hot meal we get every day. Our lunch is cold. Our bre- I mean, our lunch is hot. Our breakfast is cold, folks. You feel me? And you don't get dinner in the county. Dinner, for dinner, we eating stove food like that we bought. At the stove, you know what I'm saying? We went to the stove and got that, you know what I'm saying? But they don't serve us that. You got to make that on your own when you and your peoples at night, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm really like, at this point, I'm just through with it, folks. Because I don't, I'm still like faking the world. I'm at the point where like my head's still in the world. And I'm not finna eat no jail, overly, no applesauce sandwich or no cock in a sock with beans and all that. I'm ready to starve. I'm phoning them like. But niggas in there making sure I'm straight because I'm one of them. You feel me? So I'm like, all right, okay, cool. I'm going to just, I can't eat no county food right now. You know what I'm saying? So now that was one thing, right? You feel me? I'm up in there. I'm chilling. I'm good. So now I come, they move me. 
They ended up moving me out the blue and sent me to the dorms. Now I'm, I went from being in the sales with Phonem, in, the, in, the, in the division on the pod with sales, to now I'm in a division with dorms. And the dorms, I didn't like the dorms. I mean, I, I, it ended up being cool, but I didn't like the concept of dorms because dorms are a bunch of bunk beds in one big-ass room with you and 50 to 100 other niggas. And that's just like uh, something, that's like a pot boiling waiting to happen. Like, you feel me? Like, in a dorm, you feel me? You got to really sleep with one eye open because everybody could just get up. A nigga walk, get up at 2, 3 in the morning while you sleep and shank you in the neck. Because it's just out open. Like, it ain't no sale stopping nobody outside of your celly from coming in and doing nothing to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or it ain't no nothing stopping a nigga from stealing out your bag while you in the shower. Or while you wet court, a nigga going in your bag. Like, you got to put a nigga on ass on your bag while you shitting or pissing or showering or going to court. Like, you never know. Like, you never know. And, and the nigga that you bunkies with. A be a nigga stealing from you the most, you know, especially the young niggas like me, cause I come in once my once my once my once I finally do get to go to the store, I ain't never missing no store. My bag gonna be full to the capacity. I might have a hundred on another nigga books and let, get him a little bit so so he could shop for me on his books too. You know what I'm saying? So a nigga nigga think they might want to try me or go in my bag. There's a lot of shit in my bag. You know what I'm saying? So. I just really didn't like the whole concept of being in the dorm, and I also didn't like the concept of me coming in somewhere else on the new again. I don't know if where I'm going, y'all finna have some ops over here. When I was just good with phoning where I was just at. You feel me? Like, that's when I'm looking at it like, man, fo, like, I don't, I don't want to move, fo. I didn't want to move, bro, but when I got over there, it was love. You feel me? I ended up getting some real cool... Re Third relationships with people that, like, I really, you know, I honestly valued them friendships, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it came to a point where it was, like, certain things, like, the one thing about I say things that I hated, because it's a dorm, everything is out there. Like, ain't no, like, even on the deck, on the deck, you got a shower head where it's one nigga can go in there. And you got a shower head where multiple niggas can go in there, you know what I'm saying? And niggas... In the cell, folk, they be having it set up a certain way where, like, you, you everybody can get their own time to shower, folk. You feel me? Everybody, you ain't got to be bunched in there with another nigga, most likely, or seeing another nigga, or anything. Like, you don't got to do that. But in the dorms, everything is shared. You don't got no toilet in your cell when you wake up. So you got to go use that toilet where it's like five toilets lined up on the wall and. A nigga might be shitting next to you or two sh sh toilet seats down on for them. Like, that's where you got to go. When you go in the shower before, it's like, it's a it's a bunch of heads in the shower. And it's a bunch of shower heads. It ain't just no shower for you to just go in there by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Then sh going in the shower, you know what I'm saying? It's like, man, you know niggas in here just beating they meat to the damn white meat on for them gray. Like, you know a nigga coming in here in the shower and tossing it. Man, he going crazy, folk. On phone and gray. Like, I'm I'm watching. I'm niggas going in the shower, showering for 40 minutes. But I know what you just did, bro. Ain't nobody showering for 40 minutes in the, in the county, bro. You doing that? You, I know what you just did. For us white shit, you you know when a nigga been beating this shit too much in the county when the when the when the when the, when the drain don't drain. Like you know, you got your shower shoes on now. You should never feel water piling up at the bottom of your feet, folk. Everything's a big ass drain in the middle of the shower. All that water's supposed to go in, but it can't get in because all you niggas nuts and pube heads stopping the fucking drain up, fool. I'm talking about you could you could literally look down at the drain and be like, damn, fool. Like it's really like niggas nut in here, fool. Like no homo, like like you really like this man, you bro. Like this me, my first week, couple weeks in the county. This all I'm, I'm. This is what I'm witnessing. Like damn, like. On folk gray, like you just know a nigga just choked this chicken in here, went nuts and 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 left the residue in the shower. You in here walking on eggshells trying to get out. <laughs> fo man, fo like I just, it was just such a disgusting thing to see, bro. Like it was just it was just it was just bad, fo. Cause I knew what niggas was doing, like 
And you know, niggas have been in there longer than I've been in there. Like, I got memories and like pussy. I got pussy the day I went to jail. I literally got some pussy and left out the door and got locked up. So it wasn't like, I ain't gonna say I was good because I was still dry as hell. But it's like, man, these niggas ain't fucked in a year. They ain't did all type of shit for they up and up. Going crazy for um, Woo wee. I know you niggas got carpet burn, y'all, and this bitch going nuts on four them gray, you feel me? So I'm just like, man, this is my life, you feel me? I'm praying that I can go to court and get get a bond or get out, get out of something, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, for I'm just praying, folks. Like, I ain't gonna lie. The bathroom process in the dorms, I didn't like. The sleeping thing and the way it was set up, I just didn't like the idea. But that's me always preparing for the worst. It actually ended up being cool. You know what I'm saying? It was all cool, but it could have been bad. You know what I'm saying? Because what I was afraid of was happening to other niggas on the, on the dorm, but it was just never happening to me.